Welcome to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I am working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. In this demo, we are going to see how to create a release pipeline in Azure DevOps with Classic Editor. So for this demo, we are into Azure portal and inside the source group where we have created one app service and this is Windows app service plan. So if we go and see that one. This is Windows plan and if I browse that, you can see the default page is there. And now in this demo, we are going to see how we can deploy a web app which is stored into repo and we are going to set up a release pipeline for that one. So in earlier video, we created one web app and then we have this web app which is checked in into one of the user branch into Azure DevOps repo. We have this web app and we have seen uh, the check-in process, how we can do check-in. And in earlier video also we have created build pipeline. If we go into build pipeline, we do have build created and we see how to uh, create that one and how to run. And we have all output and other things set up. Also in our, one of the earlier video, we created a service connection and we can go ahead in settings and we can go and see the service connection. So we have that. Now in this one, let's go ahead and create the release and see how to deploy that one. So for that, we have to go into pipeline section in release and create new pipeline. And creation of release pipeline has various way. Either we can have release with already in YML files or we can use this classic editor where we can go for empty job or we can also use featured one. So let's go and use feature one because we know that this we are going to deploy Azure app service. So let's go ahead and we can find various template is given for easy purpose if you want to deploy function app and other things. We will see that one slowly. So let's apply this. And here we can have a stage name or environment name. So say that let's say dev one. We can have multiple stages depending upon we can have sequential step. We can have parallel also. We can see that after that one we have to add an artifact and we can go and click in one or more artifact we can have here. And artifact type is different different. Right now build artifact you have you can have Azure repo git rep one. You can get the output Azure artifact. You can even connect with Jenkins outputs and other things so that we can have here. Now we have to select that one which which build pipeline output artifact we want to use. So as we told that we had seen in video that we had this pipeline created. Now I'm going to use uh, this uh, software demo build output. So I'm going to create that and select this and let's add. And now inside job, if we see, we have to provide some setting and in this part where it is going to use my user context and going to browse my subscription, which I have access in Azure. And also it is going to browse service connection, which we have created. So I'm going to use service connection because earlier video, we have seen that and how to create. After that one, uh, there are different app service type we can have into Azure, right? Azure web app on Windows, Linux, container and other things. So right now, I'm going to select a web app on Windows because we know that we have Windows app service plan. That is why I want to select that. And then after that, I want to all the app service will be listed where this service connection has access. So I'm going to select software demo because that is which we are seeing here and this is our default page. So let's select that one. Now I'm going to save this one and put my release. And save that. Yeah, so let me put the name uh, software demo release part. Right. And then I can save. Now, once it is done, I can go ahead and create the release. And right now, we have one version only uh, that build output. If you have running multiple times, there will be multiple output versions. So you can select latest one or you can select whatever version you want to deploy. So right now I'm going to do that one. And right now 
we can change right now if you see i will create and it will go ahead and deploy that one because that is the automated and if you see how to see that automated version because if you see this is going to uh, deploy quickly uh, and if we go into see and we can see that uh, we can see that after uh, once we create the release it is going to deploy or we can do the manually also and also there are a lot of pre-deployment approvals and configuration we can set and we will see slowly in other videos that how to create and how to set up all these details so i'm going right now and creating a release which will be automatically triggered so let me go ahead and create this and right now if you see this is the build uh, is coming if we go and click on this one if we can trigger to this place where we have output is stored here and we can see all the details from this path that okay this was when it was built what is the steps and other details was there we can see all the details now if we go and see that inside logs it is running on the agent it is going to use some agent it is downloading the artifact and we can see this this step has been done automatically that it is going to download all the zip which is output of that build and now it is connecting to uh, deploy that uh, our app services so now it is adding all the files required file from that zip file so now we can see that release is succeeded and if we go inside our web app in a fair phrase i can see that whatever new is going to come this is what i wanted to share in this video i hope you will like this video thank you mm -hmm.